World Economic Forum has been involved in the G20 for the last two years because we think it's one of the most important gatherings at a global level. It involves over 90% of the global economies when you have the 20 countries together, but it has to be, to be successful, it has to involve more than just the governments themselves. It has to involve all of civil society to really understand the key issues and to identify the ways to resolve them. After some involvement in Seoul, we've been intensely involved in the G20 process this year, following a meeting between President Sarkozy and Klaus Schwab in Davos. We've had seven task forces looking at a number of critical issues. Through the process, we came up with seven sets of recommendations, but there were three I'd really like to focus on. First, the issue of food security. Second, the really important question of anti-corruption and in transparency. And thirdly, green growth, creating jobs that are not only uh, good for employment, but also good for, for sustainability going forward. Under the area of, area of food security, the recommendations focus on improving the investment by 50% by 2015, involving private funds and public funds working uh, effectively together. They focus on improving the markets for food distribution at a global level. They also focus on how we can use innovation and new technologies to improve uh, food productivity, and also the importance of ensuring that environmental sustainability and job creation is built into food security measures right from the beginning. The recommendations in the area of anti-corruption and transparency focused, first of all, on ensuring that the agreements of Seoul are actually translated into laws against corruption and they're being implemented in the courts, that what we see on paper is actually reflected in the courts. Secondly, that the private sector and governments work together in different sectors to actually drive out uh, areas of corruption. Thirdly, that uh, for those companies who play by the rule, there's a way to actually recognize uh, their importance. So while we should maybe have blacklists for companies who don't behave appropriately, we should maybe have whitelists for companies who are really setting a standard of integrity and anti-corruption. And then finally, there should be a way for CEOs who actually have identified uh, corrupt practices, perhaps historically, to be able to come forward, identify them, acknowledge them, and resolve them in, in an effective fashion. We think this requires an unparalleled level of private-public cooperation to actually move anti-corruption and transparency to the next level. On the key area of green growth, our recommendations involve having the right incentives in place so that the innovation and power of the private sector can be used to create green jobs, to ensure that it remains a standing item uh, for G20 uh, in Mexico and beyond, given the critical nature of this, and also that there be a private-public partnership that is focused on identifying really good uh, cutting-edge examples of green growth, sustainable uh, development that can actually be celebrated and shared most effectively, so we can actually accelerate progress in this area.